I was a biochemist and molecular biologist in undergrad, and my intention was to go straight on into graduate school and go into reproductive health, reproductive sciences. I was looking at specific labs in there, and that was back when we only called it reproductive sciences. Um, and I was looking at specific labs, and then I took a quick detour just to get a little industry experience, and here I am many, many years later. Um, but what I feel so compelled by is that A, my passion for the topic has never changed, and B, I believe I still have a really important platform to make an appreciable difference here. And what I do know is that it certainly isn't going to just be a company like Roche that gets to solve this problem. It is going to take the ecosystem of leaders, and that is all of you and the communities you're going to go back to, just like you said, Michael, bring it home to where you go. But it is going to take all of us to really think about what are the challenges, how do we bring that voice to the table, how do we come up with the unique solutions that we really need to come up with, because it's not going to be easy. But it's going to take this multidisciplinary, diverse approach to really cracking this problem. And so I just want to say, I guess, two things in closing, and I promise to let you guys get to your APRO soon. The first is thank you. It takes a group of passionate and really, really dedicated people. And what I love, by the way, is I'm not only looking at a sea of women. I see men here too, and that is just as important. It can't be done by just one group of people. And I just want to say thank you for your commitment, your passion, and your unwavering dedication to what is what we know a very important topic. And the second is my commitment to you. I commit that we will continue to be your support, your advocates, and a part of this ecosystem to crack what I think is one of the most important problems that we need to solve, and that is really thinking about how we make an impact in women's health. So with that, I just want to thank you again. I want to thank Oriana for your absolute passion and dedication to putting something like this together. <laughs> and to let you know that it's an honor to be in a room full of leaders like you guys in this space. So thank you. Thank you for that.